Welcome to another video, The One Good Road here. Today I want to give you a app review that I have been testing out for the last few days. It is called Just Draw It. It's a route planner. And we're just going to open up the app. And actually we're not presented with this screen when we first load the app. So I'll just close that. So basically this app is designed for the kind of person that wants to go down a local track or a local trail and doesn't want to go maybe through the road and wants to take a few shortcuts. And you can literally, as the names of the app implies, you can draw the GPX file, so the GPS route that you want to take. It's great for local rides, it's great for local walks and for runs, and you can really get creative with how you want the route to go. So I'll just give you an example here. I'll give you a brief overview of how the app, like where everything is on the app, and then we'll get into how you actually draw those routes and you can actually save them and export them onto your phone and then put them into another app if you want to follow them or something like that. So on the top left, we've got this bar and it'll have the map, the routes saved. Once you have a, an account, you can save them because this is kind of a web-based app. It's not available offline yet. And and then in settings, we've got a bunch of different parameters. You do need to spend like five bucks to get access to a lot of their customization. If you don't want to do that yet and you want to just try it out, it doesn't doesn't matter. You don't have to spend the, the five bucks. But I, I really think this app is kind of revolutionary once you see how it works. So I've changed the metric, I've changed the distance to metric, sorry. And I've put the Google Maps as the map provider. You can put open street maps if you want, but I'm just gonna leave it as Google Maps for now. So we go back to the main page. We've got layers here, which are all from Google Maps. We have got a search button here, and that's obviously for locations. Uh, we've got our location, and that's pretty much it for the UI. It's very simple. So what, what happens is, let's say I'm going to change it back into something a bit more understandable. I'm in the south of France, and I live not far from the Pyrenees. So this is roughly my local area. And let's say I want to go from this town, um, and I want to go into the mountains here. So let's draw a route. So you tap the big purple icon down in the bottom right, the squiggly line, right. So that, that's where I'm gonna start. And then from there, we can roughly draw out where we're gonna go. So you literally just take the, the squiggly line and you draw out the route you wanna take. And that's it. Now you probably want it to snap to roads, so you can do that. You can, let's say it go undo, and I want all of that to actually follow the route instead. So we select that button down at the bottom right again, and we draw, and it's got this magic wand button enabled. So now when we draw, it will follow the road. There we go. There might be some errors, for example, here, it's not following the track right, so then you can take the eraser and it will snap back to the rest of the road. So it's a bit finicky at the moment, but I think that it has some massive potential. I'm, I would be not surprised if Google might want to actually implement this into their software, but we don't know. So this is just a road, right? This is just going up the mountain up to this, up down, up this road. And let's say I get further up, but there's a few mountain trails up here that aren't marked on the map, but they're available on like satellite imagery. So let's say um, I'm gonna bike like further up. Oops. Again, it's better to actually zoom in on your area that you want instead of doing large chunks. I keep getting that wrong. So we can draw out the route like this. It's pretty cool when you can just draw it out like this. So it's better to do it in chunks like this. Ah, you see it's kind of bugging there. Let's see if we can fix that. Come on. 
Uh, it's kind of bugging there, for example. And we get further up, and we get up to here. I'm going to switch it to satellite. Again, you need to know your local area or what's what you're up against to be able to sort of do this. So, for example, I've, I've actually been around this area before, and I know that there's a trail down here. And further up ahead, it doesn't mark this little track here. See, there's a track here, and if I go back into terrain, see, the track is not here. Nothing's there. So this is when it comes really in handy to do this. So I'm going to draw it again, so bear with me, like that. And I've got the magic wand feature on, so it should snap to the road. There we go. And then we go back to... No, we're still in satellite. And I'm going to switch the wand mode, that auto snap feature, off. And now I'm going to manually draw it. So it's going to go up this track here. Now, I've been up it before. It's like a service track of some kind. And um, it's pretty decent, but it's not marked on the map. So I'm just following the, the trail. It's really simple. I take two fingers and I'm dragging. Make sure that when you select your, your drawing feature, and then when you use two fingers, you see it does a bugging feature like that. It thinks that you're about to draw a route. So that's what I have did wrong in the beginning. So, and then it's connected back up to the road. So that, that's what I find really amazing when you use this app, is that you have full control over where you want your route to go. So now we're back on the road, we can... Ah, oh, I see, I've done it again. I am muddling that up, I apologize. It's just I'm so used to uh, pressing that button down there, I don't know why. So now I'm going to draw it out again, snap to road, like that. there we go. And now I'm going to go back to terrain. I need a different map to see where I am. Ah, okay. I'm actually going up the wrong track there. So that's why it takes a bit of getting used to because it's, it's not very... Um, you won't be used to drawing it like this. Normally we just... We're so used to just put a pin and let Google select where we want to go. So actually... I should have gone up that road, like this. Yeah, that's better. And the bigger you make the trip, the trickier it will become to do this, because it takes time to draw a route like this and to really plan every kilometer. You'll have markers. See, it says 13, 14. We're getting close to 15 kilometers now. Let's just stop there, because that's already all the way up the mountain. So now what we can do is tap on the track, okay, I've just simply gone from here, and I've, I'm tapping on that track, route back. So it will now program to go back down. Actually, that's not the way I wanted to go, I don't know why it's done that, but um, we're just going to take it like that for now, just to make it simple. And... Then we've got down in the bottom left, we've got a save button. We've got elevation, so it shows us how much we're going to go up the mountain and then back down. So again, you do need to spend some time like learning the app. It's, it's definitely new, but I really think it has a lot of potential and you can use it for a lot of different applications. It's a bit like those kind of apps that you use for, mad, for measuring a surface area, like an area. Of, of, of land or such, but they've basically taken that same app and they've just made it by like drawing from pin to pin. If you don't know what a GPX file is, it's simply just like points. That's all they are. They're just locations. So you've got longitude and latitude, and then they're just connecting the dots. And that allows you to have a visual representation of where you want to go, how you want to do it. And, and then you can simply follow it and it gives you an idea of how long it will take. Um, you can change this mode activity types. We can change it to like cycling, for example. It says it's going to take about, I don't think it'll take an hour, but <laughs> if you're pretty fast up the mountain, it'll take you about an hour. Uh, let's go back to walking, for example. That's quite a big walk actually, but it's probably doable. And there's different modes to choose from. And we can click save. So we'll give it a name. Uh, we'll call it like 
up the mountain. Oop, that's not right. Mountain. There we go. Sometimes a swipe works, sometimes it doesn't. There we go. And that's, that's it. So we can share the route. Because this is a web-based app, all of this can be shared to someone else. So you can share it to uh, friends, you can share it to other people that you're, you're working with, which is pretty cool. And that's pretty much it. It's, it's amazing. You can export the GPX file right there, which is really cool. So you can then save it back onto your, your device. And for, okay, for example, let's get out of this mode, go to my roots, it's saved here. I can click the dots there and download the GPX file. Right, now it's on my phone. So, for instance, you can then load, let's say, OpenStreetMaps instead. This is an entirely different app. I've done a review on it if you want to go in depth about it. And then what we can do is load that same... It's going to take me a while because I haven't used OpenStreetMaps in a while. So you go to Plan Route, uh, Import Track. Okay, I'm, I'm going to show you that one more time because it is so flipping weird. You go to the bottom left, you get the settings bar menu, and you go to plan route and import track. And now we've got the one that was just there. So we go that one. Right, and then it'll bring it up. It's probably over here. There it is. And now it's loaded on here because that'll add a point. That's not. Go to done. And okay, it's not showing because I'll bring it back up in tracks. I, this app is a massive learning curve, so it takes a long time to get to use, use this app. I'm just trying to give you an example of when you... Now now I've got the, the track available so we can view it. Now, the reason I load it in here is because we might want to use it for navigation. So we can go into destination planning and display tracks. We can go show all, and it's the up the mountain one. And I can click start. I've got my location switched off simply for privacy reasons, but basically it'll bring up your location and it'll give you turn-by-turn -turn navigation of that GPX file. And that is all on your smartphone. So you don't, you don't even need a computer to do any of that, which I find absolutely mind-blowing. Like that is going to get better over time. Um, and you can get really down to the nitty gritty details of how you want to do this. So I, I'm really impressed with this app. Um, but actually using both the apps together. So we load back up this app. Then we load up that track. It's going to zoom in on that. There we go. That's what I want. So I've loaded back the track and we can go over to the right and there's a follow button. If you click follow, it'll bring up your location. And then you can simply just follow the track. It, it doesn't give you turn by turn navigation, but this is really handy if you are up in the mountains and you just wanna simply see your location move along this line and you can see your kilometer markers. So it's got one, two, three, four, five, et cetera. So that's, that's really handy, that's how I do that. The biggest downside of this app, I think, is that it's simply not available for offline use. That's the only thing I can find about it so far. But it is a very new application, I think. And I'm really hopeful to see how it will progress in the future. But anyway, that's a quick look, or a, actually a pretty in-depth review of this uh, Just Draw It um, GPX route planner. If you have any other questions about it, do let me know. Just it tells you the climate change thing. That's funny. So that's pretty much it. Subscribe for future content. Let me know what you think of this vertical video format. I've, I don't typically normally film content in this vertical viewing, but I am curious for feedback because I think that if I do app reviews on the smartphone and half of you guys are watching on the mobile device, I might as well film to fit that, that demographic instead of filming in... in horizontal all the time in 16 by 9 so let me know and that's pretty much it